Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of the Good Cast Show. Uh, first and foremost, thank you guys for all the uh, response to the previous videos that I posted. A lot of comments, very passionate comments. I love it. Uh, I will definitely, I'm looking to reply to all of them, but fantastic debates happening. Really nice. Thanks for all the support, guys, and sharing. Uh, big shout out also to my previous guest, uh, Mr. Funky Shankar, for coming on and uh, really sharing his heart, the truth, and what he believes in. Really enjoyed chatting with him. But today, it's about what's happening now and uh, i have next to me a fellow podcaster himself uh he's been doing it way longer than me and uh his podcast is called the malaysia kumar podcast you can check it out on tiktok spotify google and apple podcast as well uh he shares some lovely topics uh he has some really interesting guests on he talks about mental health he talks about being a man he talks about relationships he talks about all sorts of things please welcome mr kumar how are you sir hi hi bro i'm fine how are you i'm good man i'm good thank you for coming on thank you for accepting my invite no issues i mean this is the first time people invited me for something because like you said i'm a like i do podcast so i am the one who always every week yes. have to look for someone just to have it on the show and then if you would have seen like most of my episodes it's just i'm alone because those weeks i just couldn't get anyone yes. on the podcast. so that's the yeah. challenge yes it's a so challenge so when you called me i felt so like wow for the first time it was on on the, the other way around yeah, right? the other way around yeah yeah so I, obviously I, serious <laughs> yeah thanks man thanks man. because i i enjoyed your podcast i i enjoyed the videos you post on tiktok and all that thanks, stuff thanks bro and uh, but you you're very active on spotify as well uh, you've posted a lot of stuff on spotify i think more than 20 uh, plus videos 30 videos yeah 30 audio clips uh, th- uh less than 30 i think okay but yeah. nice Yeah, but it's it's not that long. I mean, I just started January 1st actually, exactly on January 1st. Oh, January 1st. Yeah. Okay, okay. So yeah. almost a year now. Yeah, almost a year. So Perfect. when I saw the Spotify rap thing, I was really happy lah like for like one year some numbers are that. I mean, not so high numbers obviously. But it was I know, like, still, it's all about yeah, passion. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah. about passion. Don't yeah, exactly. forget numbers. So <laughs> you you said on one of your podcast videos, you uh, you you shared a video about how uh, you actually were thinking twice. You you actually had this idea for a while. You didn't act mm-hmm. on it. Mm-hmm. What made you suddenly decide to go for it? Okay, uh, I had this idea the 2020, the whole uh, beginning of 2020, 2022 itself. But I was hesitating like a, any normal person. I was just like, okay, it's going to be tomorrow, next week, next month and all. It mm. kept on going until it already reached December. And then I told myself that you have to do it. You can't go pass through this year without doing this. Like you thought about it and you said like you want to do out of your passion, blah, blah, blah. Mm. I, like I mm. talked so much to myself and mm. said all those things. So I recorded the last episode on uh, 30th of December. Mm. Okay. And then I posted it on 1st January. So, I mean 31st night. So, I was like, okay, let's let's do it before the end. Okay. And it really like look at the way of hesitation like, until on the last day. Yeah, and and you put a lot of work <laughs> in it. You also do your own uh, you spend a lot of time recording your own thoughts and yeah. all that your opinions and all that. Yep, I noticed yep, that. Yep. That's something I also should start doing actually. <laughs> so, when I saw that I was like, okay, this is more work for me. <laughs> yeah. But um you you like to talk about a lot of different topics on your podcast. I've noticed uh, you you your in that case we are quite similar. Mm-hmm. In fact, another common thing before I get to my question, uh, one thing we share is I know your wife Oh yeah. And I know the doctor that come on your show. Uh, uh you guys spoke about Livingston. Uh what's Oh, Rafia. Rafia. You know how I know them? Oh. I did a, a way back uh, before pandemic I produced a show called uh, Overtime Pakalam which is uh, at General Space PJ uh-huh. was a comedy show featuring two comics from India, uh-huh. Jagan and Mervin. Oh yeah. And she's there. In fact, if you go to my uh, company page Good Times Ticketing before that, whole company, you can see an interview of them. Uh, uh-huh. uh, they, yeah. That's how okay, I okay. say, wow, what a small word. Okay. <laughs> so what are the topics that you are passionate about? Actually, like when I first started, the things that I was passionate because like uh, like uh, like what I told you initially, I'm working and I just started my startup. Like I did, a st- I started a startup before pandemic. Okay. And then it like went on like long way, long way and then went down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, pandemic happened and stuff. And then I, uh, so like I had so much things to tell mm. to be, I mean, I felt like I have so much things to tell. And then I, when I see this, all this content creators and all, then I felt like I can talk. I mean, I, I normally, I'll just talk. I'm, mm. I'm a bit talkative person. So <laughs> if I, if I get comfortable with anyone. One of the prerequisites to become a podcaster. Yeah. Yeah. Must yeah. Be talkative. So, <laughs> yeah. So I just keep, I mean, if I start a conversation, it just goes on. So yeah. I felt like, okay, that's one good quality already. So I told myself that I'm, I'm good enough to do podcasts. Mm. So I just went on and 
and then just uh, started but like what you said uh, i couldn't find one specific topic i thought like what am i going to do like mm. if let's say per week one episode and then like for one month itself i don't know what four topics to think about mm-hmm. so i thought of, okay let's start with uh, just my experience and then uh, like uh, i think after 10 <laughs> episodes like that i don't know what else to talk about my experience <laughs> i felt like that's uh, that's i mean before starting it i thought like wow my life has so much things to say but then <laughs> after, after you're like oh, nothing uh, much after 10 episodes i felt like okay that's all what else i want to <laughs> say so that's when i went on uh, after, like into the cinema, uh, movie topics and all yeah, because yeah, i said yeah. like uh, one of my f- i mean uh, the most favorite thing that i do is watch movies since small Okay. I like to watch movies a lot like especially especially Indian movies. Okay. So I thought like uh, I'll just talk about it and uh, from a fan's point of view or just just something related to movies mm-hmm. and then uh, I did that and then one episode was okay and then few more didn't do well like what I thought it is. Then I changed again so it was just kept on going like one time i brought in uh, i brought in a businessman like the la pasa ceo something mm-hmm. so i wanted to talk about business i thought like okay i'm just i'm go- it's going to be very insightful and uh, it's really going to like uh, set a benchmark or something but yeah, it yeah. didn't do that i mean the numbers didn't go that up and then i brought in another guy and i did a, a <laughs> i mean he's a single guy so I, i for his whole life and he decided to be single like for his whole life how old is he yeah uh, he's 32 and now he decided to be yeah, single yeah, no no yeah he's decided Lucky and man. then he already convinced his family and I'm, he's my best friend dilip okay. so uh, he convinced his family and everything so uh, so i brought him in to talk about his story and then apparently i mean uh, last week the uh, spotify rap, uh, rap came in <laughs> and his episode was the top episode la, because uh, oh I mean, nice yeah so that's when i thought like okay people just want to listen to something just funny just like a, like a everyday chat mm-hmm. rather than a, yeah let's do this life is all about this what i did was this yeah, blah, blah, people blah, don't blah. like that yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. in and fact when 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 i started this or so i i learned that quickly because uh, but it depends also which platform i think instagram is more favorable to that sort of content mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because the audience is a bit older yeah, yeah. but in tiktok it does not work mm. it doesn't work yeah, you yeah. you you put that out of content that you're not going to get any views yeah yeah, 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 it, yeah it needs to be uh, uh content that is a bit more spicy uh, that yep, people yep, like yep, it yep. right so um where do you see your podcast what's your plan with it what's your vision for it <laughs> my vision for it uh nothing much i just want to and now since like uh, one year done with the audio now a lot of people telling me you should like start the video and all video cast so yeah. that's like uh that's my next thing that i mm. i'm thinking of working on it like because mm. i'm still not comfortable with camera <laughs> in okay. front of me so that's okay. why i even started podcast because i thought like okay nobody's going to see my face so mm-hmm. let me just talk and uh Yeah, just do the stuff. But now it's... Uh, so that's yeah. the next thing. I don't have like it's, a long-term plan. No, but, but, but it's, it's funny you say that because when I started look, uh, watching your podcast and I started listening, I said, okay, I have to do the reverse. I have to go to more audio as well because oh. I don't do much audio. I only, I, I only do video, right? Oh, video okay. casting. So I don't do much. That's why you have a lot of episodes on your Spotify. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, so I, I, I must copy you and spend more time now on yeah, podcasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, I mean, when I started off, I didn't even uh, had Instagram and uh, TikTok pages and all. It mm. was all out audio. Mm. And then uh, I thought like, okay, it's like, uh, I mean, uh, you need some kind of uh, people to pull in into the Spotify itself. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I, I mean, all my content's in Tamil. So, uh, so I thought people have to know me first because it's not so, podcasts are not so common among Tamil audience. I mean, mm. in Malaysia now, mm-hmm. I, I thought, but uh, I mean, this whole year, I saw a lot of people coming up. A lot of people coming up. This whole year, I saw, <laughs> I was like, like shit we just wanted to do one one <laughs> thing in this whole after thinking so much and then now you got a lot, lot of, of competitors yeah a lot of people it's it's not uh, I, i don't think it's competitors i think uh, everybody if you notice has their own lane mm 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 uh, so like even even amongst the indian community so there's a lot of podcasts coming up yep. but yep. they all talk about different things like you are more life centered yeah. i watch some that are very political uh you know uh, so i think there is a lane for everybody i think yeah yeah, yeah, yeah definitely I mean, it's just like uh, uh, to push yourself more yeah, mean, yeah, all these yeah. people going to come up with better content then you'll be like okay but i don't know i i i when i started doing this right one of the things i told myself is uh i will not focus on the i will not be so tied down by what content to put out mm. what are the views uh you know what are the comments because in in my line of work i do a lot of because i come from a pr marketing background mm-hmm. so i have to design marketing plans communication plans for people right so it's very structured 
So I thought if I'm going to do that in what I love doing, it's going to take the fun out of it, you know? Uh, right? So just put whatever, if that's what I feel like talking, if that's what I want to talk about, I'll talk about it. You know, mm. if you, you know, that kind of thing. That's my philosophy. Yeah, actually, I mean, it works too because end of the day, there are certain group of fans for every, yeah, yeah every type of podcast or whatever mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. I mean, people do, right? You know, yeah. Content creators or movie, music or whatsoever. So yeah. I'm sure like, uh, <laughs> we can just do like yeah do whatever you want whatever like, you know? we want. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's the whole I mean best part of this yeah. podcast and stuff right like I just started off just because I thought that I'm good so. <laughs> no no that's fair <laughs> yeah. but uh, share this I think a lot of people have misconception about podcasting they think that it's very easy mm. but what they don't know is it takes a lot of time <laughs> yeah yeah how yeah. much time do you spend uh, oh, recording and editing uh, and putting yeah. up actually uh, okay there's one episode I did was uh I talk about this certain music director. So I have to, I talked about a lot of his songs. So I thought of, uh, I talked about it and then I'll play like 10 seconds of the song. Mm. So it, it, I put in around 23 songs in that episode, mm. uh, in that one episode. So it took me one whole night and then I was started, uh, started recording su- Sunday around uh, after lunch like that. And mm. then I recorded and then I did and then I did again and then all mm. those things. Until two to three o'clock in the morning, already, and then next day, next day I have to take MC <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> because of podcasting. Because of podcasting, and then like that's when I thought, like, wow, I'm never gonna do this kind of episode again, like the the cutting and I mean yeah, cut yeah. and paste his songs kind of stuff yeah, and all. Yeah. But like what you said, it starts from the uh, like uh, from the thinking of what to talk that that mm. week itself. That itself is, I think, that's the biggest part of this yeah, yeah, whole yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. thing. Like uh, what to talk about this week. That's a long process, and then like. Like myself, I just uh, record myself, edit myself, and then I have to do the video editing also. That's why mm. I don't do the whole video thing. I just mm. have I just cut it just for the TikTok uh, 30 seconds kind of thing, just to make it crips, uh, crispy. And then I just hope it goes viral. <laughs> <laughs> just hope it goes well. Huh? <laughs> so, okay. So let's let's get to the meaty part of this. Mm-hmm. You, in uh, in our conversation before the, the coming on, you mentioned that uh, I asked you to name two topics that you want to <laughs> talk about, that you're passionate about. Uh, one of it was you said mental health, mm-hmm. but one that was interesting was you said uh, is is being a man easy. Mm. <laughs> what is so hard about being a man? Tell us. I mean, uh, <laughs> certainly it's not easy to be man right in the first place. No, no, it's not. Yeah, it's not. So yes. that's what I thought wanted to talk about because I always, I always believe there's like a, okay maybe mm-hmm. in the last five or uh, ten years there's a there's a more active movement of feminism and all happens around mm, the world. Mm. I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about it, but I'm saying, just saying that uh, the more uh, these people go out and preach about the feminism and all, at one point of time, it's more about, uh, it's more than women rights. They are, they are some sort of side uh, track, li- I mean, sidelined in this whole thing. They call the uh, pseudo feminism, like one of the episodes that I talked yeah, about. I saw so, that. Yeah. so that's when, uh, when I, I mean, when that person came in and talked, that's when I even know that this word exists and then mm. th- those other things. So this certain of uh, kind of narrative is always sidelined the other gender saying that they are they don't much fight for the woman rights. They fight more to uh, pull, I mean, pull down the guys. I mean, like saying that everything yes. that guys do is easier. Like, uh, like uh, I can say example, like uh, if a girl that earns, uh, I mean, she, she does her own job and then uh, she earns and then uh, she just probably stays on her own and then uh, she gets her own place or something. She's an independent woman and everything. But if a guy does that, she's just an he's just an average guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, 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 he, yeah, he can't go out and say, I'm an independent guy. I'm, I, like, I did everything. You know? He's just a normal guy. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I mean, every adult does that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, it's, so, it's nothing new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, those are the things that I, I always, I mean, I kind of envy about this, this. When people tell that, oh, being guy is so easy mm. and like... Uh, what's so hard about like uh, you born as a guy already so you're gonna get upper hand in everything no like it doesn't happen that way like just because I, I mean if I go for an interview they don't gonna choose me like okay just just blindly choose the guy because he's a guy exactly yeah. you, you have to have merit to be chosen you have to be I mean <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a reason yeah. you must be chosen mm-hmm. so you you uh, I, I liked one uh, uh, chat you had with your wife <laughs> uh, I found that very hilarious. Um, in fact, I also watched it. I said, mm, maybe I should bring my wife on as well and, and have a chat with her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, she said one this line. So I want to ask you, mm. um, is it 
happy wife, happy husband, <laughs> happy life, or is it just happy wife, happy life? You're a married man. Yeah, Tell yeah, me. Yeah. For me, like what I told her, also like she told me that happy wife equals to happy life. Then I told her that happy wife equals to happy husband equals to happy uh, life. Like okay. like the whole equation, the man. I mean, the, like what I'm saying, like man is just get ignored in all those parts. Mm. So the man also have to be happy in order to have a happy life. It doesn't mean just when you when you're busy making sure your wife is happy, you will be tired and all, and then you will neglect yourself. Yeah, and mm. then where does all this like all this your Oh, like there'll be one time that you'll get tired of doing this mm. because when you look back you don't have you didn't do anything for yourself yes so probably it's happy life for a while but then when you have this realization point that's when yes. the, the like shit start to happen mm. and all that. so that's why i told her that uh both of them have to be happy in order to be of the course. life to be happy of course of course <laughs> now how long have you been married for two years now two years two years one month so how has married life been for you uh it's nice it's nice because uh okay i <laughs> uh, i know my wife uh, which uh for okay i'm going to get into trouble now <laughs> <laughs> we will chop this part out <laughs> yeah, yeah. i'll edit this part out <laughs> uh 12 years before i uh, married wow, yeah 12, 12 years, years 12 years I was in relationship with my uh, current wife which is my girlfriend at that time so what Pri- uh, from uh during school i mean she was in from 5 and uh Yeah, from that time itself. Wow. Yeah, it wow. So like she a, was your high school sweetheart. That is yes, so nice. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, that's very nice. <laughs> okay. So it's, it's then, easy now because she's no, your best I mean, friend. Uh, no, no, I didn't say it. No, it's, it's not easy. easy. It's, it's tough, not it's easy. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, uh, so we already know ourselves for 12 years. Mm. And then when I, when I, I mean, when I, we planned for this marriage and all, I thought, like, what's so hard about, like, we already know ourselves for 12 years. Mm. What's so great? Up? I mean, there's not much difference going to happen after this. Mm. We're just going to be a happy, uh, like, what she said like happy wife happy happy so life kind of stuff yeah. but uh we got married and then we moved in mm. some total new chapter opened up <laughs> okay uh, something completely new that i didn't see in of this course. 12 years like mm. uh, 12 years uh, so much of love shared and everything mm. uh but when you when you come under one roof that's a totally different version of yourself uh, also comes out and then yeah. like uh, because we we just always go out and meet up and we just mm. Uh, mm. show our best behavior yes when yes. when we are at Your home highlight self. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah so when we are at home even the sm- uh, small tiny big things get you upset and then yep. you have to tell her no i don't do this like this and then she will tell you no, actually i don't do that thing like that and all okay so you have to come to a midpoint so that took another one year in the marriage mm. so yeah but it was nice it's nice because like what i said even for this podcast itself uh uh she's the one that always tells me like just go and do it and all like uh, i'm a very shy person if you mm. actually if you ask me uh until from five and even in my foundation times i don't really talk much to people i'm a very introvert person okay because i i have very high self dub doubt about myself okay so i don't uh, feel so confident about myself so i don't really talk and my english is very very weak that's why i'm still doing podcast in tamil okay <laughs> yeah, yeah so i always believe no, that but you, you yeah, yeah all these happened after like uh, in this 12 years oh, 13 years of relationship okay, okay okay so she comes in and then she always makes sure that i talk back to her in english and then uh, just keep correcting me and all the way i dress up and all even like today she told me where like where shoes i lo- i normally just come with slip, uh, slippers and all you should have i i also like <laughs> yeah. that i didn't know i mean like uh, all this setup going to be so i thought and then she said no you're going to go meet someone for the first time so she always groomed me for a better person so that's why i always tell her that like for uh, who i am today and everything like if a person likes me for my uh, ethics and all it's thanks to my parents but where i am today is because of my wife. Oh that's beautiful. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, that's true. Having a having the right woman, a strong woman to support is always yep, in, very yep. good. Very very good. Very happy to hear that. Now, <laughs> what are the things in your that you moved in? What are the pet peeves you have that annoy you about her? Uh annoy her is it? Annoys her? Oh uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, that that annoys her. Annoys her. Okay. <laughs> uh okay, I'm a bit of uh OCD person like I I need to I mean the place that I am have to be clean like especially your room or hall and everything it has to be neat and clean okay. uh she she does that but I'm 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 a bit of extra level like that like <laughs> you're <laughs> so, very OCD like yeah very OCD I yeah. got it from my mom she always keep uh, she's a housewife 
So she always kept, uh, make sure the house is clean 24/7. So I just got it from my mom. So that it was the first thing that I always annoy her because I like small tiny things I'll tell her like uh like uh make sure the every night you have to throw out the rubbish either one of us they have to do it and then uh wash your dishes and then always make sure that wipe your the uh the whole kitchen countertops and all after you cook every mm-hmm. day you make sure that every time after you cook you have to wipe it and uh make sure it's clean mm. all those things i like to cook i i really like to cook so i nice. cook most of the times so i'll do all those things and then when she cooks she'll be like the beginning she'll be like okay i'll just do it later mm-hmm. let's go eat first and then i say no we have to clean first then that's when we're going to eat <laughs> we make sure that it's right, clean you mean after you cook you have to clean immediately uh yeah I'll, I'll you can't sure. just eat first and then clean everything together no i'll make sure normally i'll clean i mean i'll clean all the oh my god the, the kitchen, <laughs> i mean the pans and everything that we used i'll make sure i'll clean it and then we'll we'll go eat and peacefully now <laughs> <laughs> So those okay. are the things that uh, so you know how much she got and I love it all these things. <laughs> I can understand yeah. even I'm listening to it I'm like oh my god how we eat fun. So uh 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 what is this uh, back to the the what is this uh, you were talking about living together and all that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. I have one question. You said that you guys have been dating for 12 years mm. before you got married right mm. so i have known couples like y'all mm. okay when i was in school i know got some couples who've been together forever la, and then they get married is it diff- i mean how do you keep things spi- i mean not spicy but how but, do you, uh, you keep it interesting interesting yeah. yeah 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 that's that's one thing that uh we even ask ourselves like that's the one thing that we always scared of ourselves also actually okay. we actually talk about it sometimes we feel like we always tell that how do you think that one day we're going to get bored of ourselves and all so that's uh that's always back at the mind but it haven't happened yet and uh, <laughs> so i don't wow. know <laughs> okay. yeah but uh, so far we have managed to do something there are times that you you like the you can see that like the relationship will be a bit stagnant and then the there isn't much uh, going anything i mean like probably you will be a bit down okay. with, with your own stuff and all mm-hmm. so that's when you don't really see what's happening on the other end and then we had those kind of stuff but uh i i think like the things like what i do like uh when i keep myself uh interesting with the things that i do yeah, yeah. and then uh, she also does that actually she like uh she's a uh, uh, <laughs> a graphic designer and then oh. uh, so she uh, and then she got uh, also doing a masters now mm. and then I, i i told her that like uh, if you want to do something just do it and just don't wait for it i mean when i started podcast i got all this uh, <laughs> yeah yeah energy yeah. like you i found did, confidence yeah i found mm. confidence then i told her that if you want to do it just go do it and then she uh, she's doing masters now and then she's she's also a sangeetam learner she she can uh, she's a singer nice so yes she sang on one of your videos yeah 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 okay. uh, yeah in i uh, want in my episode so those are the things like like when we keep ourselves interesting so when we she always comes back and then she got stories to tell me mm-hmm. different stories mm-hmm. and then uh, and yeah whenever we feel like it's a bit stagnant we we just go for a vacation yeah we that's just, that's a very nice way uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. just have to reset the the brain and the whole thing mm. and then you come back you feel okay let's just because okay. because i need her uh, in most of the days like uh, with all these things that i do and uh, some days i i just get so depressed or tired after work and all mm. so uh, it's just not only about interesting it's about i the need of her is still there Mm-hmm. uh so it will it will always be that i mean she is the first person that i'm going to go and uh, mm-hmm. like i'm like go back the, to yeah yeah go back to and talk about all my stories and stuff mm-hmm. and also in that way we, yeah that's the way i i really don't know like the exact method no, of no, it fine, yeah, yeah but i think all these are other ways lah that ways. worked for me so i don't know sorry but how old are you 32 32 years old right mm-hmm. so um uh when you see the like younger people now uh do you think that the dating game has changed yeah yeah obviously i mean i think the whole relationship and uh, i mean there are still people uh like us i mean uh, the older generations mm-hmm. and all but i think the the current whole game has changed completely how I so think. how so i mean uh, i don't want to say a lot of example then i'll i think i'll get caught <laughs> get no caught. no no please speak, <laughs> speak the honest truth yes yes no i mean i'm saying like uh like uh in my era i mean my my time uh it's much more harder for a guy to go and convince a girl and vice versa also but nowadays i think 
the girls are much more braver than the guys mm. they they uh, i mean express their relationship and all uh, much more faster than the guys mm. i think i don't know i'm just saying yeah yeah and then uh, and as far as uh fast as they get together i think it's also faster that they <laughs> <laughs> they they break up and then uh last time breakups are different those i mean those time people really go into the devdas mood and stuff mm. but i don't think so that exists now especially the 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 depression going into the like a uh, like a long mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, uh, like my one of my friend that I told you that okay after this I'm just going to go single mm. I'm not going to be with any girls at all. Uh, I don't think so that happens now people people move on a bit more faster because they take things everything in a much more lighter note I think they don't really put it as a as much as a big thing and also their age right I mean mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. They, I guess I guess now people can move on faster because life has become faster thanks yep, to social yep, media. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, there's yeah. always another option. Yep, and like uh now nowadays if if you get a relationship, uh you should be be happy about it. And if you break up, I think you can also be happy about it because at least now you got something to talk about in social media and all. Like you can just go out and tell <laughs> I'm depressed, I'm uh, I'm start based. a podcast and then yeah, talk start about a podcast, podcast and then just say it. life is I'm I'm seeing sometimes the posts of like 22, 23 year old people and all saying that they just share like so much of life quotes like uh, life is healing journey i mean part of my journey you know I one guess. thing i hate about that is uh, these girls nowadays yeah, yeah who post pictures they they they, they they'll dress up very sex very provocatively <laughs> yeah. and then they of course show the bum lah yeah. that that, that yeah, is yeah, the thing yeah, la. yeah. okay and then they'll show the bum then the side but then the quote will be a inspiration yeah quote. yeah it's about uh, <laughs> life know, changing life, quotes yeah, that, yeah you did that picture <laughs> because you want to show yeah, your mom yeah yeah <laughs> and and they themselves know if let's say that that picture has 1000 like i'm sure like 90% of them didn't give a damn about the quote i mean <laughs> the, the caption none of the people that like the photo would have seen the, the, ca- the yeah, quote. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah even yeah. if there's anything be, be, beside her in the picture also nobody would have seen Same, it yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 so but it still doesn't matter so you just uh, like what i said if you, if you go through breakup like you just go out and then preach about but, it but but you know i i i feel like sometimes when i when i think i mean i'm 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 38 years old so we're not that much uh, different age uh, but like i don't think i could be able to date today mm. like if i was a younger man i think it'd be really tough like mm. all these girls are online they are all you know I, it'd be tough man it's it, it, like You know, the, <laughs> like sometimes I see some of these girls. I'm like, man, who's gonna date them? Yeah, but that's the thing, you know. Uh, I think it's, I think the other way around. I think it's much more easy. I mean, if you're also a guy from this era, mm-hmm. because uh, like what I said, the guys also sees that as like a, it's a cool stuff. Like a, I can flex about it. Uh, mm-hmm. Like that's my hot girlfriend and stuff, kind of thing, kind of thing. And uh, and also like what I said, it's much more easier because uh, okay, last time during our eras. like if you're fat you're ugly if you're dark you're ugly and all those things so like there's a lot of reasons for to have a uh, lower self confidence mm-hmm. so that's one of the reasons why we don't really go and approach girls mm-hmm. and vice versa because we feel that we look like shit <laughs> so <laughs> but <laughs> nowadays on, it's different because mm-hmm. you're fat you're beautiful you're thin you're beautiful <laughs> you're dark you're beautiful it's you're beautiful in every way so you just go out and just tell that i love you and if the if the another person <laughs> and, and if somebody doesn't agree with you then they are body shaming you <laughs> yeah you just take a video and make them viral and i'm sure the community will support you say like how how can you tell no to this guy he just he just showed his pure love or something you should have said it in a much yeah, more nicer way you should have said yes yeah you, you should, should have, have said yes because uh, he's fat ah <laughs> uh, yeah you, you are say, oh they will say that you're saying no just because he's poor and fat uh, not because of anything else yes, so, yes. yeah all those things so the world has changed right? yeah the, the world, world has changed, changed. Yes. so yeah much more confidence now and uh, and it all these apps like mm. tinder bumble and stuff mm. have you ever mm. uh, known anyone because I'm, i'm sure you are you are not in there i, I hope so yeah, your wife is watching no <laughs> no really like i even told her once that i like my era i mean we we started before all these apps and then uh, we we already in relationship when this app started to come in so i never experienced these apps actually mm. so i don't know uh, like how these things work but i have, I, I have, I have. A, oh, yeah. I have a cousin younger cousin he's the guy that always tells me all this stuff and all like what's happening and through him when I see the world through him that's when I like get uh, get to know all this thing like the way that they look at the world uh, it's total different like uh, when it comes to relationship moving on and all this like what you said it's everything is a bit much more faster to them they are they are less 
emotional they are more they are more what to say uh, they are more of a technical uh, i mean i don't know digital lifestyle everything yeah, 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 so they're yeah, fast yeah. moving lah mm. so they don't really emotionally attach to anything for that long no i i one thing i feel like dating now will be really tough is because everyone is very very attached to their phone Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't do that. Like yeah. I I I I've never gone out. I mean, I can never date someone who's like always on their phone. Like when I go out mm-hmm. dinner, I've seen so many times uh, like the like the, 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 the there'll be this hot girl in front of them in the table, the guy sitting by he's looking at his phone. <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> Maybe I come from a different time, like. I yeah, come, yeah, yeah. I, I no, come the time I mean, before. I, I totally understand. Mm. I mean, like I would have I mean, I also would have been looking at her, right? Because yeah. like if that's your girlfriend and then like what is yeah, it she's hot her. yeah talk to her yeah. i mean that's the whole point you came there right yeah. not to just <laughs> look at your phone look at your phone but uh, yeah it's different now they like uh, like this i myself getting like hooked to this phone screen and mm. they they really grew up with this whole phone thing yeah, i mean yeah. when when i i mean i got my first and phone when i was from 5 mm. and i don't think so that's the that's the i mean age now no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no it's much earlier it's much much earlier, earlier yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah they really hooked on to the screen okay so <laughs> you you on tiktok as well you're on tiktok a lot what is your opinion about all the current uh, 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 i would uh, since we are both indian let's talk about indian influencers or indian tiktokers <laughs> the famous ones uh. like recently i saw one uh, what's her name uh, that girl ah oh, you that telugu girl is she is she telugu uh? She 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 came up she she became very popular during uh, Pongal once remember she she wore the Oh yeah 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 okay we shouldn't say her name like then <laughs> Sally will be stitched. Yeah 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 she she might do another video for us then <laughs> I right. saw this podcast uh, this How can of, they talk about yeah, us yeah, yeah 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 but it's a good thing you know because uh, uh, I have another friend who also do podcast is called uh, he called Kuberan mm. uh, so he told me that uh, he was doing for 2 years plus and then i asked him like what's the first episode that got you the break and everything and then he said that he talked bad about one of the celebrity okay and then uh, after the guy heard the episode and then he went on in instagram and then said that guys see this guy released a podcast about me blah 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 and all mm-hmm. and then literally after that he became famous because there were a lot of haters to him so all those haters became his fans now <laughs> <laughs> okay i should so, try so, that yeah. let's let's pick a celebrity <laughs> <laughs> let's start <laughs> i mean either one i always i always believe that uh, in order to like uh, just to get straight viral or anything you just have to be either damn good at something mm. or you just have to be like just worse at it <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 that's you how you get to, made yeah, fun of yeah, yeah you, that's how you get viral i mean that's what i see in uh, but TikTok some and all. some some of them i think uh places like tiktok and all it's a dangerous place because if you're not ready for it because like uh yeah uh, that's why like for me i never i i i distance myself from my phone as much as mm. i can if i'm at home with my family my phone is always away because it can get addictive yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. everything like uh, what's that guy's name uh puchong michael <laughs> yeah right yeah. Uh, like i can see like sometimes the live that he does i mean this was few months back when he does the live the the comments that people are throwing mm-hmm, at him mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you know tamil is a language <laughs> if you used to say bad words is really awesome yeah, yeah, it's yeah, the best yeah. language to yeah, say yeah, bad the words the emotion comes together, yeah, come together yeah. <laughs> uh, it's terrible man so i yeah, yeah. do you pay attention to co- comments how do you keep yourself distance from uh okay comments i i i don't think so i reached to that but i mean i'm i'm getting comments but not hatred comments yeah, yeah, yeah. I, i mean getting comments itself is a b- very big thing for me so mm. i don't really care okay, okay. <laughs> as long as you get, yeah. yeah as long as it uh, there's comments there's uh, the the traction is much better yeah. so I, i'm just happy but uh, i've never faced that comments yet so i don't know how i'm going to react but uh, even uh, nowadays when i see the comment if uh, like people uh, school me in the, like some episodes that i post and then they'll come out and say i uh, know that's not how it happened this is what happened mm-hmm. and blah 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 mm-hmm. or they have a different opinion i'll just like and go because i like i i did my part and then that's it done is done so done is done, yeah, yeah. if you like you like at least now either way you know who i mean i i'm the whole reason is i'm i'm creating my personality here i'm creating my character mm-hmm. so you like it or doesn't like it the character still gets built right mm-hmm. that's what my character is at least you now know either They know way. who you are like. yeah so you just do your part and then uh, Yeah but like what you said uh, regarding the Indian influencers uh, yeah I, I really think that uh, uh, I mean generally I mean it doesn't matter which whatever race they are I think everyone just get 
uh, everybody want to become content creators now yeah 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 and uh, but some of them i i really respect mm-hmm. like that that uh, that, uh, that that group uh, is uh, they they are a bit uh, what's the term to use proper term is eff- eff- effeminate men uh those guys those indian guys who are a bit uh, oh okay 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 i know i know one was a malayali i think what's his name mo 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 kid yeah mo kid is tired or something and I, then yeah, there's yeah, one the panda uh, yeah, 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 yeah 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 exactly and then recently during deepavali this this deepavali was really i think tiktok was i mean we took over la. yeah <laughs> we we took over because usually in in uh, for any celebration the chinese are the ones who chinese new year they are firework they go oh, crazy yeah. this year we this won, year dipoli we won yeah, we we yeah. are the number one that's our sound for two days holiday there was like. the, the the iconic guy was that guy who was at the flat remember he lit the thing yeah, in the yeah, middle yeah. of that the was like the extreme level idila <laughs> i was like whoa this but the, <laughs> that's the, that's the like the thing with indian we we enjoy but we don't have the limit for ourselves that's why we, we got number yeah, one <laughs> we, like what i said we we either will be at the best of it or will be the worst, worst of, of it, it. there's no in between yeah there's no in between there's no moderation yeah, yeah yeah it's either we're going to there or here only and then those guys became famous uh, became a bit of a, a viral thing during the poly because that guy the moganesh i think I yeah, think he's Bogenes. He wore the uh, male jipa but the back he did a window. Uh, oh, I mean, <laughs> no but yeah. I I no, mean but awesome. there's, there's I mean I really uh, salute for the confidence like yes. the there's, I, no, that's I, what I, I mean. Yeah yeah the, I I got no idea how like where do you get this much of confidence in your life like like No they they, <laughs> they are very comfortable in their own skin. Yeah yeah yeah. They but, know and, who they are. and they do it they like, don't care. That's also like what I said just now like the 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 result of the current positivity era like mm. uh, and the and the thing is okay they are in social media they post a video there they are famous uh, uh obviously all good comments and then if they go live people uh, bash them and all mm. those things and I, i don't think so that's what really happening in their real life also because uh like there's once uh, i uh, i don't know it's part of this group i uh, someone like this and then i saw them at uh, batu cave mm. during thai pusam mm. and literally everyone i mean they uh, the guy was just walking mm. and literally all, uh, the guys around there a lot of people they mock him like like no business like they really went on and mock him like cow cow oh really 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 and i mean he just did like what he just uh, just walking away la he he act like he didn't hear anything uh, but then i thought like uh, okay maybe it's not going to happen every day but uh, maybe people will support you in instagram and all because uh, in, i mean in social media nobody wise out the negative part mm-hmm. even if i hate some guys i i can't go and say hey you look like shit that's it i'm gone mm-hmm. now it's all about just positivity there so so that's where that's why they are comfortable there because nobody's going to hate them there i this is what i feel love. Okay. like social media it's just like if you say anything bad you're going to get lashed. no but that's why i i i i respect them it's i'm not making fun of them because mm-hmm. to me i believe if, if you are who you are mm-hmm. right you you uh, and who you are may not anybody in this world who they are will not agree uh, who they are will not be something that other people may agree mm-hmm. but forget it that's who you are what i like about these guys is they are very confident mm. and like what you said i'm sure they get a lot of mm. negative criticism but they take it and they keep on walking mm. and 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 i and i admire that i really do admire that you yeah, know yeah, uh, yeah. Th- th- there are people who have had like mental breakdowns mm, 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 mm. but they just they just walk confidently and do what they want which i love and to be fair to them they are now they've built a sort of like a brand where now they do reviews they are invited yeah, to yeah, launches yeah, 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 yeah. it's so fantastic well done to them but uh, so that brings us to the last part of this where you said another topic you're passionate about is mental health mm, mm, mm. W- what is it about mental health that you are passionate about no it's uh, i mean it's not a, <laughs> not like passionate about it I mean, but you're interested in it you're interested in it because uh, i went through uh, there was a time that i went through depression itself in my life okay so that was my like uh, the darkest time in my life uh, like uh, before i i start i i did the startup business and mm. all like so before that i i really went through like one uh, shit phase in my life mm. and uh, that's when i realized that uh, and it took so long for me to know that whatever that i'm going through itself mm. it's a mental health issue like like that something shit happening inside you and uh, you don't really feel i thought i'm just sad just for a longer period that's it uh, i thought something like that and mm. i uh, the way that uh, i've been brought up and everything 
I, I I mean I don't really know how to even express that thing out when yeah, I was yeah. there. We, we Indians know it. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. tell I mean, your like, parents about yeah. having a mental health day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like when we grow up, like I, I'm, I have four <laughs> elder sisters and I'm the only boy in in my house. Oh. Yeah. So growing up, uh, the only thing that I always tell me, don't cry like a girl. So I I I, I until today I find it so hard to cry. Mm. I there's if there's one emotion that it's I don't know how to like. Uh, there are times that uh, I mean. Uh, I cry in life, but uh, like, I, I, there are times that I felt bad. Uh, it would have been better if I would have cried for that part of the life or to express that emotion. Okay. So when you don't, uh, so all those things like what my, uh, and then ended up in that when I already going through the depression, I don't mm. even know that whatever uh, shit that's happening to me, like what I said, mm. uh, that is what that it is. And then I don't know who to talk to and mm. all, and I li- literally lash out with everybody that I see, mm. including mm. my girlfriend mm. and everything. I'll just shout to everybody, and then uh, yeah, and then you'll have like some yeah, shit yeah. thoughts coming to you, like just do this to yourself, self harm, and all those things. So that's why I, I always feel like uh, I, I mean, as an as an Indian, especially like what you said, we don't really talk about that. No, no. no. And second of all, being a guy is also hard. Like mm. uh, we all know, like when we go out and tell that. Uh, I'm if uh, okay. Uh, let's uh, let's not talk about the parents. Like the parent, but at least they are older generation. Yeah, different generation. Talk. Yeah. I remember the first time that uh, I mean uh, I had this issue, and then I went and told my friends that. Uh, so group of friends, we are just sitting and talking, and then I told them all these things like blah 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 blah, and then one of the guys just woke up and then say, okay, just talk first. I'll just go to mama and get get all of us drinks first. Then I was like, <laughs> Tambi, okay. I'm I'm. Pouring out here everything, and then I like uh, they don't even see it as a problem. I mean, mm. it's an it's an issue for all of us because we like all the guys. We don't really even if our friends comes and talk talk to us about their mental health issues, and you know, we'll be like, just take it easy. It's gonna be normal. Yeah, let's have a beer. Yeah, let's okay. have a beer. <laughs> a few uh, beers. Yeah, and then let's just forget it. We don't really sit and talk about this issue. Mm. So that's why I thought. Uh, I mean, I just talk about it a lot. When in through my podcast or mm, to whoever mm, that I talk mm. to, yeah, that's the, that's that's the sad part. Uh, I think uh, people can talk, but w- one of the things also I find a bit, which is a question mark for me, lah. It's it's a point where I cannot get the answer. Everybody goes through depression, everyone. It's just that whether they ex- they express it or they don't, mm-hmm. right? Even like for me personally, there are times when you feel low, when you feel mm, this is not the way, this, mm-hmm. something is not fitting in my life. And then you start doing like what you did, where you get angry, mm. you lash out, you know. But, but there must be one point of realization, right? Mm. Where you say, "Eh, hey, st- hold on, why am I doing this?" And then you know, okay, I'm not in the right place. Let me try to get out of that place or deal with it in a way whereby I can try to make myself happier. What can I do to make things better? Be- be- before I came to this show and uh, before talking to you, I was doing a bit of research on mental health online. I was surprised to see that nowadays. Millions of children between the ages of 15 to 19 mm. are diagnosed with mental health issues. So, I mean, but why? I think why now? <laughs> <laughs> now is because uh, I think it's always been there. It's just that before this, uh, uh, like uh, nobody knows about it. That whatever that mm. they're going through itself, mental health, and like what you said. Like everybody goes through that low moment, and mm. then uh, mm. uh, sometimes it get longer, and mm. that's when uh, from the low moment you go to the depression part and all. Mm. And like what you said, uh, if you realize that you're already in that place, and you have to get out from it, and and if you know a way how to get out of it, I think you're already uh, half halfway recovered. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. that's the problem they said. So uh, I I read once that they said uh, mm. guys uh, one. Uh, three times more to commit suicide compared to girl. Okay. Guys, and then they said there's two reasons. One is because guys don't show their emotions out, and then when you keep uh, keeping it inside you, it's either two ways guys show it up is through anger and then just be a uh, bully and all mm. those stuff, or uh, suicide, kill yourself because they always believe that they can't tell to the world because mm. uh, they don't hear the thing. Mm. And then the second uh, highest reason is they don't even know what they're going through. Mm. Like uh, they don't realize that what they're going through now is actually a mental health issue, mm. and then they have to talk it out, and that's the first step, and that's when the second step. Co- after that, only the second step comes out mm. that okay, so I have to do some. I mean, there should be a way. I need to find a solution and all those things. Mm. Either go and meet, a, I mean, the therapies and all, 
or you yourself find i mean try to do something out of it like that's when i started the business because i i wanted to do something really uh, out of the whole thing i want to 100% concentrate keep myself busy so that i don't okay. think about it mm. so that's what i did so yeah so you like, turned the negative to a positive i mean uh, that start after that it died also that's <laughs> no but no, at least you tried something i mean uh, yeah, i mean i you, just did you didn't just wallow in uh, uh, you know self pity or why my life like this you you tried uh, i mean that all happened but then after some point like that when that i can like like really i thought like what you thought also like how long am i going to do this and mm. i thought shit about myself like so like so long i mean so long time gone and then you're just sitting there and being sad mm. and yeah. okay now you you also talked about uh in one of your videos you posted you talked about when a boy becomes a man <laughs> which i liked i i thought that was a very interesting uh, topic i mean i i have a different view on it but okay. you share your view when is it that a boy becomes a man i mean in that video i just said that one part la from that movie i think vijay's movie i think that, no karthi's movie karthi's movie karthi's movie, movie. Yeah. yeah because of that one scene la so there are many reasons for for a boy to become a man but one of the reasons i told was uh when you start uh having your own responsibilities or like uh, mm. and you start taking responsibilities for your for your house or your like another person like a life partner mm-hmm. and all comes into your life mm. or even your own family itself mm. when you start taking uh, taking the responsibilities that's like the first stage of from boy of becoming mm. man because like every month when you already have the commitment that's like the first thing that makes you yeah. wake up wake every up day to go to and work then, and all that yeah because yeah. you know month and there's going to be 10 bills and then you have to pay <laughs> you have to pay yeah so and that eat 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 like maggie me for the rest of the month yeah 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 <laughs> like you you don't really think about yourself and the yeah. only thing that you are be thinking that uh, i have to pay for this my mom have to go to this uh, the house internet and then blah 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 mm-hmm. all those things but you don't really think about yourself <laughs> i mean it's not a very good thing to do also but mm. i'm saying the, those are the steps like and then comes a lot more things to become of fully uh, I mean uh, understand. grown matured man I understand I completely agree I think men boys become men when responsibility comes yeah, to us yeah. if we don't responsibility then we'll never ever we, yeah without responsibility I don't think so we even will be respected like like yes. without especially a man yeah yes. especially yeah. a man if you don't have responsibility they'll be like, like but yeah. do you like that <laughs> that 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 sort of uh, representation of the male and female gender I I I like that I'm I maybe because I'm an old school person mm-hmm. I like that a man is supposed to do this Mm-mm-mm. and a woman is supposed to do this isn't that better no i i like that but i just hate it when the uh, when people and come and say that the things like what i said i mean when we do our things like there are things that we build ourselves and mm. we want to do it ourselves but mm. uh when the opposite gender or someone comes and tell that no whatever you're doing is just a normal thing mm-hmm. being a guy is so easy you mm-hmm. always get the upper hand in everything mm-hmm. so that's the thing that i hate mm. uh so i'm 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 okay with this preference mm. i just don't want like how the other gender don't want us to discriminate them and mm. then mm. the same way it should happen now because i think 2023 we are so far away so it's more sidelined on us i think now so it's it's always been pushed to like guys been doing that guys been doing this now now okay i'm not saying like all of us are like 100% gentlemen every guy is good mm-hmm, and stuff mm-hmm. but i'm just saying there are still some certain of group i mean some certain percentage of good guys there and we should give them the respect that they earn no yeah yeah i think i think also in uh, in relationships one of the things nowadays i'm noticing is that uh, it's okay for a woman to be whatever she wants to be mm-hmm, in the mm-hmm, relationship mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right like if a, if if your partner is somebody who throws tantrums or who mm-hmm. says bad things to you or is mean to you that's just being a woman yep yep but if a man does it he's, he's an psycho. abusive guy he's an abusive guy <laughs> i don't like that i don't understand yeah, that yeah 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 exactly like uh you you can't go in and tell your wife uh can you cook for me that's an ordering yes, yes. but if your wife asks for you you have to cook for her because that's, that's a sign a of love sign of love <laughs> uh, she needs it and everything so that's that's how it's done right so yeah. so yeah no i i do agree like for example <laughs> Like like if 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 I ask my wife to open the car door for me uh, that's the worst thing I could yeah, do yeah. but I have to do it every yes, time Yes yeah because we are gentlemen we are gentlemen, gentlemen. Yeah. I don't so, understand yeah. this logic <laughs> So I'm I'm even okay with doing it but I'm just saying in return you have to do something lah Yeah no I mean uh, okay but first of all give the respect don't go into the car and then slam the door and say like I can do it myself I didn't need your help Ah, ah yes I do <laughs> so I think that's why it comes back to this I think in relationships the key is you have to be kind to one another yep you have to give them the respect like how girls want their respect yeah. I think it's also have to be given the vice versa that's when it works mm. yeah 
So yeah, it, because I, I there is one lady on TikTok I like to follow. Her. I think she's a she's she's Persian or something. Mm-hmm. Very good looking lady. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's a psychologist. She talks a lot about relationships. She says what women want is love. What men want is respect. Yep. Yep. That's what we both want, yep. right? Yeah, different. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I like but your <laughs> examples. <laughs> <laughs> Threw me off. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's move on. You like movies? You are a big fan of movies as well. Mm. I, so am I. I love movies, mm. although I don't have time to watch them nowadays. <laughs> but I love movies. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, nowadays it's a bit hard. Yeah, no, no, it's a bit <laughs> hard. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a, I have a young young uh, uh, oh, daughter harder. at home who's you yeah, know it's yeah. harder. <laughs> yeah. So, what are your top five favorite movies? No, actually, forget about top five. Let's let's forget that. Yeah, who's your favorite actress in the actress, South Indian cinema? Uh, actress is it? Uh, okay, I, my all-time crash, crush is uh, Shreya. Oh, Shreya wow. Yeah, yes. yeah, she's my all-time crush. I mean, like... Uh, that's that's that, old school. Yeah, yeah, that's old school. But until now, I still, like, so crazy about her and uh, she still looks the same mm-hmm. in Instagram. Mm-hmm. So, she's uh, <laughs> she's just too good. <laughs> so, if I go to Instagram, I can say, Kumar, like, Kumar, like, Kumar, like, Kumar. All the like. pictures you can see, my like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, that's the all-time favourite. And uh, actor, yeah. actor is Vijay. Actor is Vijay. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I, yeah Vijay and uh, I liked. I, I mean, uh, Rajini and all those. I I like more of a com- commercial. Not to say the illogical commercial movies mm-hmm. and all, but I like movies that. Uh, uh, I mean, I like all kind of movies, but I preferably I like movies that I go in. And I just have fun, like yes, uh, me yeah, too. Yeah, like two me and a half hours of fun time. Oh and, uh, yes, I just too. forget everything and the, I come out. No, the, 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 that's why the, the 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 movies that I like to watch is exactly that. that's why I love to watch Rajini movies. Mm. I love like for example KGF two for example. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole movie was just slow motion. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. All. Exactly, just, and he and his BGM like BGM, I know. <laughs> yeah, but I loved it. I <laughs> yeah. thought it was so not, relaxing. Not, none of it gonna happen, but I just love enjoying it. I I like we imagine ourselves like wow, such a cool. guy. Blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. life would have been nice like this and then three hours done and then you go back to your room at least like, for the three hours you completely forget about like everything that yeah, yeah around like, you like okay because my wife she's a Chinese right so I I told her I said one thing that I really want to do for you is I want to bring you to watch a Rajini <laughs> movie first show okay Uh, that's an experience. I think everybody, yep, if yep. you love, you must watch a Rajini movie uh-huh. first. First day, It's sure. just the best. It's the best thing I even <laughs> suggest. <that you> <laughs> so I, but of course I, I, I haven't. So I brought her to watch KGF two. So <laughs> and if you remember KGF two, is his girl in mm-hmm. the movie? I forget what's her name. Uh, the whole movie, she just stands there. Yep. She doesn't say anything. <laughs> just slow motion, wind yeah, blowing. Yeah, yeah. Then my wife, after half an hour, one hour, she said. This girl no need to act. Uh. I said, no, no, no. She don't need. She just stands there. Yeah, the guy does everything. Yeah, he's just slow motion. I loved it, man. I hate movies. Like, in fact, I would rather watch that movie than any Marvel movie now. Yeah, the current Marvel movie. I'm actually a fan of Marvel. So until yeah. like the end game. I don't know. After that, I, I'm a big fan of Spider-Man. So oh, Spider-Man is nice. After that, after that I, But Spider-Man I, has gone into a very nice direction. Yeah, f- R- at fun. least they saved that one part. Uh, uh. Uh, the rest of it, I don't know what happened to it. After yeah. the Iron Man died, it really, the, the whole thing died also. Yeah. Now they're really struggling with the, the, the new she Marvels and all. No, no, she yeah, Hulk it's and, everything is like, uh, now women, yeah, uh, the, uh, feminism. Like, yeah. Can I watch a movie? <laughs> yeah. Uh? I didn't come it's, here for a social <laughs> issue. Exactly, you know? right? Like she, Hulk becomes she Hulk. Okay, uh, all those things, like... Hulk, just Hulk, lah. Like, like if you remember in uh, Endgame, there was one scene that, which I was like in the cinema looking at my brother. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then yeah. Like, where all the girls come together, I'm yeah. like, these are the worst superheroes in the yeah, Marvel yeah, lineup. Yeah, yeah, and Iron Man's wife not even a superhero. Ah, suddenly she's all there. <laughs> suddenly and she's there. How did all the girls go there? Did yeah, they yeah. communicate, I, uh, guys? I, I, I went with my wife, and she's not a Marvel fan. And then she was watching. She the, every time I bring her to Marvel movie, she'll be with the popcorn. Like when is the movie done? Let me know. <laughs> so that particular scene came up, and then I said, "This the scene for you. <laughs> This is why they have it. So you better watch it." <laughs> no, it's stupid. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, they just have to put it there, like uh, like a woman the, the thing, all woman. I I saw that uh, they're gonna they I mean the uh, uh, Snow White gonna re-release I think Snow White uh, yeah, sound yeah. off right because they made they change the story yeah they change the story, story so yeah, in yeah. this story there's not gonna be any prince gonna come and kiss the yeah, yeah. girl it's they gonna say, be a lesbian prince <laughs> they say why there should be a guy come and save the girl yes Like, it's just a story <laughs> yeah it's just the movie. let it be like that yeah, yeah you just take other like some other uh, I mean Snow White or no, Kid I, White or anything like yeah, that yeah no I, I if you want to be social Then do it in real life. 
Like okay, yeah, you yeah, want yeah. equal pay or uh, just, okay, do it. Movies is somewhere you relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't like, I, that's when I, I mean, that's what I'm talking back to the being man in easy and and stuff like all these things. What makes being man is so hard. Like you don't have to preach about the feminism in every single corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just fight for it at the place that uh, you, you don't it get. Needs to. Yeah, it needs to where yeah. your your rights get uh, uh, ignored. Yes, that's yes, the places yes, you should yes. go out and say that I'm a woman. I need this. Not. in like a, in a movie like, like in a podcast and everything now, now that you're saying it the movie that i watched i was really excited for that movie was james bond uh, uh no time to die i think ah uh, okay, okay is it is it no time to die yep, the, the yep. last one when mm-hmm. he died right mm. james yeah. how can 007 be a girl <laughs> yeah that's what i don't get <laughs> no no i you know to all families if y'all are watching this is my issue for y'all okay <laughs> my issue if you want equality then make a movie mm. call it jane bond uh. and then make it a big movie <laughs> don't come into our movies this, yeah 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 i know yeah, right you know what i mean like i so i said james bond is a girl <laughs> and, how and dare james, you do that yeah. and then and then it should be james bond you know he comes in with the suit then he and sleeps with one girl he yeah, sleeps with another that's girl the whole part, then he right. shoots here that's james bond yeah, that's what it, i paid for yeah, i didn't the, pay for a girl the car and the girls comes together with james bond no, it's not oh, the I other way, other way around when <laughs> it's a bit like kgm do like he'll be on the board the wind is uh, blowing yeah, i yeah, want all that yeah, yeah, i don't yeah. want a girl and then oh we can share the 007 mm-hmm. no 007 is a guy <laughs> And like even like like uh, like football, uh, the, yeah, they the, always ask for they, equal pay. Equal, it's a simple answer. Yeah. Nobody watches, watches women's yeah, football. Yeah, your your girls itself not watching your, your yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's the answer to all feminists. If you want equal pay, mm. all you women buy a ticket to your football team yeah. and go yeah. watch. Then I, they I, start to like, pay. For the first, they have to name their team players first. Uh, that's yeah. Why, yeah, that's why they they have to name their team players. So that's like the first step of it, yeah. and then that's when uh, they can ask for the equal play. Like I, FIFA World Cup, obviously the revenue that it brings. I think what in the billions, yeah, I think yeah, it yeah, gets the, for the football. highest uh, revenue sports. Yeah, that's why the men get paid like that. Mm. The women who watches? Yeah, who I've, watches? Okay, we don't watch it. Let be. Let us no, be. No, like let me be bad, honest. Bad the only female sport uh, I watch <laughs> is uh, badminton and women's volleyball. Because that. Women's volleyball is made for me, like tall girls, <laughs> yeah, yeah. hot-looking tall girls. That's mine, now, okay. That, I love that. I support that. The rest of the sports, no lah. Yeah. So, like, uh, okay, let us be the bad guys, like we don't watch it, but the girls can watch it. I mean, like they yeah, can they watch, watch it, it uh, and then they can all get of, together with beers, yeah, popcorn, yeah, watch a team. In, where they instead just of see. instead of supporting Ronaldo, they can support whoever Ronald, that. Yeah. Ronaldinho. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, and they're still supporting Ronaldo from menu, and they, I don't know how. of them knows what happened after that <laughs> he left <laughs> he no, left he's a 100 million no you're so right and then like uh, like uh, there's one more american girl now the football one she she didn't want to stand up during the anthem or something and now oh, she's oh, keep, yeah this, she's a short head girl and she wants to i'm like the reason is not gender it's mm. just the money issue mm, 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 mm. yeah so that that's the logic i think feminist problem is and and one thing i don't like is They don't want to create their own thing. They want to come here. Uh, they want to come ah, to our thing. Yeah. This is I don't. They know. they they already fought for all that. <laughs> so like, let me fight for more rights, uh, which I just take from you. Yeah. Don't come to our <laughs> you, spot. You don't act in Marvel. You don't you don't do football. Let us all do. Have Hulk, you seen the new one? The the, the Marvels the, Heaven. Haven't seen. I haven't seen it. Because I heard it's really bad. Because yeah, uh, it's uh, it's one of the lowest grossing uh, 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 Marvel movies uh. apparently. Because you have to watch the She Hulk and all in order mm-hmm. to understand this movie. So no, I haven't watched the other movies. You know, you know, my <laughs> issue with with the women acting in movies now, this Marvel. You know what is it? Now? I love uh, growing up. I don't know whether uh, I'm sure you watched me Terminator. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Terminator. Have you all seen what's the name? Ah, uh? uh, the, the the what's the, the name? Uh, <laughs> is it is it Linda Hamilton? I think it's Linda Hamilton. I think uh, the the old, the one who acted in the last Terminator where she'll oh, come. Oh, the mom. The, okay. The mom. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. is a uh, action yeah, yeah, star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A she character made there, for boom, that, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but. Uh, Nowadays the girls anyone can be a superhero mm. like like uh, in Marvel my favorite female he, my favorite hero is actually Scarlet Witch I I think uh, have you seen the the show uh, WandaVision yeah uh, no Wonder very Vision. nice show like she's a very good actress mm-hmm. she's really play- well so if you're good you'll get it but most of these actresses are really not that great yeah yeah i mean you like what you said you like the terminator and stuff yeah. you just build one new character for these girls uh, uh. and then go with it you don't have to like make hulk into a she hulk um, yeah. uh and then uh, bring in that uh, the, the, the just just a special scene just to show them as like a, 
uh, yeah. female superpowers and all. Yeah. Uh, so like what kind? I mean, like Black Panther had its Make own it female uh, Panther, or whatever <laughs> they call it. I mean, uh, <laughs> break your own. Yeah, that one really went that different that track. Different track really. Even uh, I was so upset, and and oh, that's one thing nowadays. The whole cancel culture. I hate it, man. <laughs> that guy. Uh, I I I I mean, I didn't watch the movie till finish because I brought my daughter and my wife. We went to watch the. Ant Man and the, oh, and the was, Multiverse. No, oh. what was Ant Man and what? Uh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last one. What's it? I forgot. What's it multiverse. Uh, no. What's it called? Quantum. Quantum, quantum real. The the one with Kang the Conqueror. I forgot what's it's it called. Ant Man and the Quantum. Something. Quantum something. Yeah. Quantum I something. love Kang the Conqueror. Mm. I think he's one of the coolest villains ever. <laughs> and then they chose a guy. Oh, he played him so mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. Then he went in. Then one girl comes and accuses him of something, which actually that girl lied. But he gets kicked off the whole movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, this is uh, like a very common thing. Like, uh, if acquisition comes in, uh, it involves a guy and a girl. Automatically, the world thinks that the guy is on the yeah. side. Yeah. Hey, that's why now I, I like like it, it's 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 a bit scary now. Mm-hmm. No, like a, a, any girl can tell you anything. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, like yeah. one thing like now uh, the, like uh, that's why I was very against the 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 Bill Cosby case. You know the one that happened where Bill Cosby, the old, uh, he's he was an old comedian. Mm-hmm. I said, what? Like he's old now, like sixty, seventy. Mm-hmm. Uh, women from his young time twenties came and mm-hmm. said, oh, he raped me. So uh, I'm, I'm I'm thinking to myself, that's not. So that means I now mm-hmm. I can go to say my teacher in school and say you robbed my house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah, I'm yeah, 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 It yeah. doesn't make sense. Yep, yep. And whenever this thing happens before the, uh, like it, it's just an acquisition. It has to go, th- go through a proper. Uh, the judiciary system and yeah, all yeah, those, yeah. but it doesn't. I it mean, doesn't. It, it, I mean, nobody cares what happens there. Yeah. When you accuse itself, that overnight is one it's night gone. is enough. You're yeah, gone. yeah, you're gone. And the worst part, this Kang the Conqueror, he's such a good Kang the Conqueror, and I love uh, Kang the is just awesome. <laughs> like, I love him. Like, I, I watched it for him, you know. Okay. The girl at the end found she she lied. Uh, see, But they still they, kick him out, mm-hmm. and his career is gone. He's yeah, yeah. left Marvel, nothing. Uh, yeah, I think the only guy that. Turn this whole thing is uh, Johnny Depp. Oh, I love yeah, it. That, that I watch story. every episode of that. <laughs> yeah, that, I was that, so happy. I, I haven't happy. watched that thing. It was it's on Netflix, right? The, they're hearing. Yeah, now yeah, yeah, when yeah. when it came out, I used to like on YouTube every day. That mm. time I'd be waiting. Oh, it was <laughs> such a good. I was yeah, so happy when it. I think he's that. the only guy in history that went on like uh, that went this famous and mm. then fought it the other way around mm, because mm, they mm. say like ninety uh, percent of the time it's the girls that. Get, get, get get, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you just have to like show one. I mean, I'm not saying all these are as like a bad example of what. I'm just saying that there's another side of story mm. also, like what happened to him. So you just have to show like few bruises and mm. then say that I've been abused. That's it, man. Yeah, yeah. but like uh, you can abuse me mentally and all those things, like which I don't have any scar just to show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Men go through it, but we mm. have to keep quiet. Yeah, we have to keep quiet. It's an unfair world. Yeah. And. <laughs> This all this whatever that we are talking right, I think these all like twenty uh, the issues that ends almost in in next five years something like that. I yeah. think the next set of issues is the is this new gender fluid thing like. Oh that. my god! <laughs> don't get me started a, on that. That's that's a total. Oh, I hate uh, that nonsense. I, I really really hope that uh, it doesn't it doesn't come to Malaysia. We all stay as 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 like it is like guys oh, yeah, guys yeah, yeah, yeah. girls as girls and we guy marry girl. No, <laughs> like, no. The, see, <laughs> see, the, 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 this is the thing. Eh? If you compare Eastern philosophy and Western philosophy, eh? Easterners, if you look at okay, you talk about say if we go Hinduism lah, you go the Mahabharat. Mm-hmm. In the Mahabharat, there is a character. Her name he, he's. He, I mean, it's a guy without a penis. You know, I think it's a eunuch. I think if I'm not mistaken, mm-hmm. I could be wrong. But the name is Shikandi. Sri Sri Kandi, Sri. which became mm-hmm. now in Indonesia, all the they they they, they have those theatre dancers. We have accepted it. Mm-hmm. Like there are men who are you mm-hmm. know we 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 we've accepted. We are fine. We don't they don't go public and even in like when I went to East Malaysia when I was there for about four years, it's part of you you see these things. Mm-hmm. But it's part of no one makes a big deal. Even yeah, Indians, yeah. Are, you can see. But but we Indians, we are told from young, mm. you cannot make fun of that uh, yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that, yeah. right? So we let everybody lives their life. Yeah, there's no big deal. But in US. Oh, like uh, the uh, uh, what the, the, a guy will want to go into a girl's mm. bathroom, and the 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 thing that uh, okay, first we like guy wanted to become girl, girl wanted to, uh, now they they do they say that neutral thing. Uh, I I'm, don't understand. I, I'm binary. Uh, I'm both. No, like, I uh, no, it's a uh, non-binary. <laughs> non-binary. Sorry, sorry, uh, non-binary. Uh, like I'm both. I can be 
some days i can be he some days i can be she like like the, there was one video i did on my YouTube, uh, tiktok channel where i i i i i, I long time ago there was the, there is this guy i forget what's his name on uh, tiktok he's an american he's a guy but he is a non binary mm. so but he so i don't know how like if you look at in if you go to thailand you can see the men who are women they all look beautiful they look mm. like girls also Lady boy. but in us i don't know why they have <laughs> yeah, to yeah, paint yeah. the face red and yeah, they have yeah, a beard yeah. Yeah. can you all be gorgeous sir? i yeah. mean come on like guys no because they they have this stupid thing that they say that i it's not what i think it's what i believe like uh, i uh. i can look like a guy but if i believe that uh, five days uh, two days out of the week i feel like girl i'm a girl yeah. that day i'm going to use girls restroom ah uh, yeah yeah uh, yeah then three days I f- i'm going to feel, feel like, like a guy i'm going to use guys like restroom. like that guy <laughs> that guy what's his name uh yo i forgot the name the the big case in us the swimmer ah yeah yeah i don't know his name but yeah but he, I mean, he, he, you see i have a, i have a solution to this problem okay <laughs> my solution is this he basically he felt he's a girl mm-hmm. so he went and competed against the girls and then he won and pity the girls la yep yep they, I mean, they were crying and all that and they were say, and, and and what i like is when he won nobody clap but when mm. the second girl won they clap for mm. her and and in in the news they were saying one of the girls in the because i think that was the olympic qualifier mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they 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 will take the top 16 so the number 16 girl mm. got kicked out because of him mm. so my logic is if you want to be a girl mm. but you are a man's body then when you compete against men just wear a female swimming suit and then <laughs> swim la <laughs> you're over what yeah and apparently that guy is actually he is he's like not the best but he's good at the guys uh no he's not he's not even he, so, so that's why i think they say like he just he came just, here and then he and, won uh, he won that's <laughs> <laughs> because he's like the top 5 or something there and then he feel like okay i think that's more easier since <laughs> i have this girl. narrative yeah. uh, today uh, i feel like a girl yeah. so let me just swim here <laughs> and then you well long. and <laughs> yes. uh, Uh, and and then now they're saying they even want to extend it to MMA where they want yeah yeah this yeah, is yeah, rubbish yeah. man yeah, i i it's i i really hope it just stays there yeah. it doesn't uh, it's very, it, yeah. it doesn't this, this to topic Asia. to me yeah. i i cannot take it <laughs> I, i get very emotional because it's so silly yeah. anyway <laughs> <laughs> you made me stressed up now <laughs> go and have a that's, smoke that's for your next week's uh, topic or something topic yeah we're talking about gender fluidity <laughs> yeah and then the worst part is even children now they you know the the in us there is one guy his name is Matt Walsh i think i don't know if mm-hmm. you listen to him in us they even give a drug to children uh, be- before they hit puberty to stop ah, their puberty yo. and this drug is given was actually used to chemically castrate pedophiles oh and they give it to children is is what kind of world we live in so yeah, anyway yeah, let's yeah, let's yeah. let's end this on a good note <laughs> you know uh for we've been bashing us a lot uh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, <laughs> yeah it's all his fault <laughs> go to his podcast and complain not mine <laughs> so anyway uh kuma you know kuma what are you doing Uh, this is the last part. Last part. Don't video so don't worry. <laughs> so share kuma I always get time my guests to share their final closing thoughts uh before we end it of this episode. No, about yourself, what do you want to do, your podcast, what is your aim, your 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 goal uh, for your podcast, your uh, advice to people. Maybe uh, maybe um, advice <laughs> to people who are going to get married since you are recently uh, uh I mean if you're going to get married just get married and don't don't like plan so much of things like a like a spend so much on on the wedding i mean have a good wedding i mean your dream wedding and you know, but just keep the dream a bit realistic don't <laughs> don't have too much higher dreams then obviously the dream will be costly and then you have to pay for the interest and everything installments after the wedding then it's just one day event so yeah spend wisely uh for myself uh, i don't know i mean uh I started podcast just like what I said I just felt like I I'm good at talking which I convinced myself and then <laughs> and then I started it and then uh now like uh, first time in my life uh like I I I've seen people listening to this podcast as if like uh, some people are liking me for they didn't don't even know me they're not my closer friends or anything but just some random people liking the podcast it makes me feel so special like uh, for the first time because we don't really as a normal person we don't really go through these kind of things mm. the only people that likes you is your family your mm-hmm. friends and wife that's it done <laughs> yeah so so all of a sudden these random people come and say that hey you talked good and all like wow like my view has a has a support even one it matters right so it feels good so it feels kind of a like a addiction now 
like you want to get more yeah, of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the the bad part of it so yeah i just want to uh, grow in that and then um, there's two reasons why i started podcast one is this and then second reason is i'm also doing a, i mean part time business right uh, the cleaning business and all so i always find influencers to promote the business mm. which are getting costlier day by day mm. so that's one of the reasons also i started podcast i told myself that let me be my own celebrity and mm. then i'll promote my own business mm. so that i don't have to pay for it so let's see <laughs> so, yeah. so let's see that happens no but that's not. a good idea yeah. yeah so let's see that happens or not uh yeah next this i mean it's december now mm. like exactly today so uh good stuff happened this year uh from nothing i mean the podcast zero to mm-hmm. when some numbers and then uh, the business also started to pick up you know mm-hmm. just hope that uh yeah it's another great year next year i mean i get to meet a lot more people like you and yeah yeah, yeah. I, i'm 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 a fan and uh, to everyone watching uh, please visit his uh, tiktok page his spotify his google and apple podcast uh, you can find it at malaysia uh, malaysia kumar podcast really fun topics uh, maybe if you want to go on his podcast as well it's a, it's it's a, it's a predominantly tamil speaking podcast yep, language yep, right yep. so it's tamil uh, so if you guys want to go on i think just drop him a message like share follow him uh, i i find him very entertaining i love his <laughs> topics uh, especially the topic on the Deepavali cards brought me back. Oh. <laughs> when I was in school, that was a thing where you find the actor's name, the favorite mm. actor, actress, and all that. I remember that. I forgot about it actually. But thank you, Kumar, for joining. No I problem. truly, uh, yeah, thanks for coming on. And uh, thanks, yeah, thanks for inviting first of all. No worries, man. It's my pleasure. So thank you guys for tuning in, uh, the, and we'll see you soon again. Thanks for all the support and love, and uh, have a good weekend and take care. Bye.